down with Jim Cook. He's the founder of Boston Beer Company, which makes Sam Adams. I asked him how he got involved in the business. Jim, thanks for being here. I, I, there's, there's beer, there are beer bottles, and there are glasses. Nothing but trouble can come off of this, but you are somebody who just loves this industry. Tell me your story, how you got involved in uh, the Boston Beer Company, which, which we know as Sam Adams. Yeah, I, I started making Sam Adams in my kitchen 25 years ago, back when there were no microbreweries in the U.S. Everybody thought it was all going to be, you know, these mass-produced, yep. light beers. And I started making rich, flavorful beers kind of bucking that tide and 25 years later the company has become the largest uh, independent American-owned brewery at less than 1% of the beer market. So we're still tiny. What's in the pour? Why don't you, you show me what the perfect pour of a, of a bottle of beer into a glass is supposed yeah. to look like? Um, you want to create maybe a couple of fingers of foam okay. at the top. So you kind of you know bring it down the side of the glass. Okay. And then, you know, finish it off with just wow. a nice, beautiful head. That is on excellent. It. And a, a really good beer will have uh, a head that is so thick you can float a bottle cap on oh, it. Oh, no kidding. There it is, just a happy little boat. That is excellent. I want to ask you something else. In, in a, a year that we've been through where uh, corporate America uh, and the business elite have really had a black eye, you have a company uh, that uh, you have a culture amongst your employees that you try to foster. We have uh, a, a Sam Adams Brewing the American Dream program that is a, a micro lending facility for uh, small, uh, low and moderate income entrepreneurs in food and beverage. Mm -hmm. And uh, over the last year and a half, we've helped almost 40 businesses get up and running and created hundreds of jobs in, in Boston. And so for us, that's uh, our way of giving back. You, you do seem like you feel like you're a lucky guy and you like what you do, but things have changed for you. You're a much busier guy. What, what does your day look like? You know, it really depends. Uh, that's one of the great things about my job is I don't sit in an office. Right. I don't do the same thing. I get bored right. if I have to, you know, repeat. So uh, I get to make new beers. I get to create new styles, new brewing techniques. And, you know, I, sometimes I sort of feel like a Johnny Appleseed of beer. Well, your enthusiasm for it is, uh, is catchy. Thank you so much for being here, Jim Cook. A real pleasure to talk Cheers. to you. Cheers. Cheers. All right, have you or someone you know lost a job? Well, what do you do now? The idea of completely shifting gears and retraining can be terrifying, but we'll hear... Kroger. Hi, I'm Mark Prestige, president of Kroger. On behalf of our wonderful associates, 